using the logarithm tables to find the antilogarithm of numbers could be very very stressful trust me very very stressful so instead of using the logarithm tables to find the antilogarithm of numbers what we'll do is we'll use the antilogarithm tables the four figure antilogarithm tables to find the antilogarithm of numbers we'll use this antilogarithm tables to find the antilogarithm of numbers and it's quite it's quite um fast using the antilogarithm tables now let's say we have let's say we have a, a, a logarithm like 3.3.4485 we have this kind of logarithm and we need to find the number that has this logarithm that's the antilogarithm of this logarithm what we'll do is we'll go to the antilogarithm table and look for 44 under 8 difference of 5 let's go there 44 under 8 difference of 5 this time around instead of looking for 44 inside all this place we'll just come here to x okay you see this portion x here we'll now look for 44 come down and look for 44 okay we'll go down this is 44 here this is 44 under 8 you know we're looking for 44 under 8 difference of 5 4 4 8 5 this is 44 under 8 this is 8 here under 8 then difference of 5 this is 44 under 8 you come up here this is the number 2805 2805 this is 44 under 8 difference of 5 you come to the difference table you take 5 then go up to that line 44 okay so it means the number will be 2805 plus 3 now it's 2805 plus 3 when we add this we would have 5 plus um, 3 is 8 this will be 2808 so write that as our number 2808 2808 that's our number but we can't just leave our answer like this you notice here we have our integer as three because our integer is three it means that we must have four numbers before the decimal point this is one two three four numbers before our decimal point and that's okay all right let's try another one let's find the number for this particular logarithm let's say we have this logarithm 2.0088 let's find the number that has this logarithm that's the anti logarithm this is zero zero under eight difference of eight come to the antilogarithm antilogarithm table look for zero zero this is zero zero this is see this is zero zero under eight this is under eight then difference of eight this is difference of eight now for that zero zero under eight we'll mark the number this is the number this number okay one zero one nine zero zero under eight then the difference of eight is two we would add one zero one nine and two one zero one nine and two this will give us nine plus two is eleven i write down one carry one okay this is going to be two this will be one zero two one one zero two one this is the number that has this particular logarithm now because we have two as our integer here it means we must have three numbers before the decimal point i'll just put my decimal point here now let's try another one let's say we have let's say we have this logarithm we have 10 raised to the power 0 0.9517 you know the logarithm here is just the power logarithm means power so what we'll do is we'll go and look for 95 under 1 difference of 7 okay 95 under 1 difference of 7 we'll come down this is 95 this is 95 oh, let's let's do something better something clear 95 under 1 this is 1 difference let's take this up to 95 and find the number this is the number this is the number here 8933 3. 95 under 1 difference of 7 we'll go to 7 this 7 take that up to the line 95 this is it this line here okay this is 14 so it means we'll add 8933 3 and 14 so this will be 8933 3 and 14 4 plus 3 is 7 carry 1 or oh, this is 3 4 5 and this is 8957 that's the final answer 8957 8 
0.9957. So it means this is a number. But let's let's focus on the integer here. The integer is zero. It means since the integer is zero, it means that the number before the decimal point should just be one. I'll just put my decimal point here because the number before the decimal point here should just be one.